That is so fetch. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Kaya. Today, we are going to be listening to Celtic Frost for the first time ever. We're going to be checking out the song Circle of the Tyrants off of their second full-length album, Two Megatherion. I'm really excited to jump into this band, so without further ado, let's just get right on into the music.
what a great video god uh i just miss this even though this is definitely not when i was born i just love watching old concert footage it's one of my favorite things this show looks like a blast you got massive massive amps in the front all this like i don't know paper it just old school metal heads. I don't know. This show looks like a blast. I love their logo. Very, very interesting sound from this band. And super interesting outfit choices. Like it's like it's like black metal in the outfit choices. <laughs> Especially with the lead singer who I am assuming is martin e allen the guy who passed away because it says on metal archives that they split up so i'm assuming martin is the lead singer we're seeing in this band um which rest in peace to you martin um i <laughs> love this outfit super black metal love the ruffled shirt and the deep eye black eyeshadow of the second guy um and you got you know of course it's the 80s so you got like the the whole thrash metal kind of mullet look of the drummer love it it's definitely thrash meets like punk ish um meets like you know it's switzerland in the 80s so you're getting that early black metal when it sounded more like I mentioned, when it sounded more hardcore punk and thrashy, similar to Death Crush by Mayhem, when it sort of sounded like that um, versus like how it kind of developed now to be more doomy, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. These are just things that I'm noticing. I like it, though. I like it. It's it's a mix of it's definitely not what you would expect. I expect when I listen to Celtic Frost for them to be like dark funeral, like, you know, sad boy, black metal in your feels, like kind of droney sounding and, and, and dark and stuff like that. This is a totally different vibe. And it's interesting to see that. It's interesting to see them in this live setting. And I uh, thought the guitar solo was fun and interesting. I liked all of the like interesting things that he was doing. It's definitely a metal punk sound, and uh, which is not surprising considering where we are in this time period for when this came out, which was, of course, in the mid 80s. So, you know, this was again when Bad Brains was kind of making their their moves in the U.S. and, and rock was starting to become heavier and progressively more heavier. It had been for a while, but this was really when metal was being born so it's just cool to hear the development of the sound